In this tutorial, we will be looking at one way to write the domain of a rational function. First, let's review quickly what domain is. The domain of a function is all of the values for x where there is a corresponding y value. A more technical way of putting this is that the domain of a function is the set of all possible inputs for a function. Rational functions domains are all real numbers except for any asymptotes or points of discontinuity. So with this in mind, let's take a look at the following rational function and its graph to learn about set notation. Here is the domain of this function written in set notation. The D stands for domain. The curly brackets are used to contain all of the information about the domain. Now let's look at the different parts. First, the X in front. We say this as the set of all x. This is where we state the variable used for the domain. Then we have the vertical bar. This is pronounced such that and is used to separate the variable from all the conditions on that variable. Next, we state that x is an element of. For rational functions, it will be the real numbers, but in other situations, it might be other types of numbers as well. Here, we write x is an element of the real numbers followed by a comma. Finally, we write any restrictions on x. Here is where we add any points of discontinuity or asymptotes. In this example, we have an asymptote at x equals 3. Therefore, we'll write that x cannot equal 3. There is no limit to how many restrictions can be added here, and all that apply should be added. Now, you try. Here is another rational function with a little more going on. You have both the equation and the graph to work from. Press pause and take a few minutes to write out the domain in set notation and then press play to check your answer. First, we write down D as we are writing the domain. Then, start with the first curly bracket followed by an X as X is the variable for the domain. Next, add the vertical bar. Because this is a rational function, we can write that x is an element of the real numbers, followed by a comma. Now on to restrictions. We see that there are two asymptotes, one at x equals negative 4 and one at x equals 2, as well as a point of discontinuity at x equals 1. Therefore, we write x cannot equal negative 4, 1, or 2. In this lesson, you learned about how to write the domain of a rational function using set notation. That you write d for domain, and then state the variable used for the domain. Which type of number x is an element of, followed by any restrictions.